tonight. Yes, food all day, quality table service, and the food, fantastic. Harrigan's, open every day for lunch and dinner. Harrigan's, 299 High Street Q, telephone bookings. And John English in his greatest screen triumph since Against the Wind. The show is Rafferty's Rules. Starts Thursday, 7.30 on 7. And we're with racing. We're up to the third leg of the quadrilla. The favourite was True Seven. The final event on the program and the Highlands once again are completing a treble. Father and son, major drive. On the extra in Melbourne for five and three, 18.55. Daily double three and one, 43 to and the quadrilla around 790. In Sydney, the extra one hundred eleven daily double pit dollars three eight percent of three one hundred eleven four thousand nine hundred ninety eight dollars with your one thousand minimum trading. You can have a pre-owned Ford sedan like this or a Commodore sedan like this. I'll trade your old car for thousand dollars, which means you pay only forty nine ninety eight. That's right, four thousand nine hundred ninety eight dollars. Finance is no problem, and remember we're open six days a week, including all day Saturday. So see me soon at Barry Connell Southern Motors, where all my... One day by day, who wants to be an engine driver? Mum, look at those kids. Aren't they silly? A lot of concentration involved in driving at time. You know, you get the gives the impression that you're sitting up there nice and relaxing. Always subconsciously alert for something out of the ordinary. That's Monday night on Day by Day. Being killed and 37 injured in a massive pileup on a fog shrouded bridge in Louisiana. There were nine separate accidents and dozens of cars and trucks wrecked. At the moment, a 23 year old St. Orleans man died after being crushed between two cars in a bizarre accident at Werribee overnight. Hussein Hussein was attaching a tow rope between his broken down car and a friend's car when a third vehicle slammed into his car. And a fire at the Ashburton Primary School has destroyed a portable storage room and caused $20,000 damage. Police say there are suspicious circumstances. Melbourne's weather showers clearing and an expected top of 18 degrees. Currently it's 15. Melbourne will have all the news tonight. Weekdays, six o'clock weekends. Now Walter. Monza, the Italian battleground of speed, traditionally kicks off the Continental Tin Top Circus. Later tonight, touring cars come of age when the inaugural World Touring Car Championship is launched at the circuit through the parks. Formula One has in the past been the big draw card at venues like this, but now the spotlight will be readjusted. Even some of the big names like Lauda and Patrese are swapping wind in the face for wind-up windows. Late last week, Alan Moffat and John Harvey announced they would tackle the big time head-on tonight by rubbing shoulders with the world's best. Well, in the top ten, and Neil, uh, we're, we're not as uh, fast as we would have liked to have been, but in the circumstances where we only were able to bring over 24 tires, we brought 24 race tires and no qualifiers. And we went uh, from last night from second to ninth very quickly once the opposition uh, slipped on their qualifying tires. And the, the difference between a, a race time and a qualifying time is between two and a half and three seconds, and that's exactly what happened to us. Nevertheless, are you very happy about the way the car's set up for the 500-kilometre race? Yes, I am, and I'm extremely happy that we've already done 600 kilometres and the motor's just run in, just running fine. Uh, chassis is as good as we can get it. Uh, tires are wearing extremely well. We had a slight brake problem this afternoon when we put our brand-new brakes on. Uh, they just didn't uh, bed themselves in properly, so we did a quick change on that and got back on the pace, and apart from that, slight fuel pickup problem yesterday uh we're in the hunt we're, we're going as fast with a full tank of gas as a lot of them are able to qualify alan how do your times in practice yesterday compare with last year at monza with peter brock well i'm fast personally faster in the car by about six seconds but we're just uh about one second slower than peter qualifying but bear in mind uh, the difference you have with qualifying tires so actually the car is considerably faster and uh, their opening race times were 2.05 last year and uh, we see a, 
a race time with a full load of gas being about a 201. So it's between four and five seconds quicker in, in terms of what's going to take place in the race. I believe there were some dramas at scrutineering yesterday with the Eggenberger Ford Sierras. Well, they rolled into the scrutineering bay and the scrutineer said, uh, what are you doing with that? And they said, well, that's what we've been running for the last six months. And they said, well, you're not running it for the next six months. And uh, whether they elected not to fix it or what, uh, put the cars in the truck and uh, went back to Switzerland. Alan, all the very best of luck to you and John and everybody at Seven Motorsport wishes you well. Thank you kindly and uh, glad to be reporting to you 12,000 miles away. One man that I can blame for it, and I think Billy Catmull, our tape. Would you come over here, Bill? Catmull. Our tape, would you? I think you've done a fantastic job uh, with our tape over many, many years, but were you responsible for that thing that went to the TV set plus the, uh, the video stuff, so it'll be really a great prize for the fellas down TV set plus the uh, so it'll be really well. I don't know what uh, Don Cordner and uh, the senior people to say about really a great prize for the fellas. Now, incidentally, it was a bit interesting last week. You fellas were behind all year. St Kilda de declared if they'd have batted on. And
brain waves. Unfortunately, there will be some surprise guests. They have very bad manners. Ghoulies. They'll get you in the end. Twenty-five years in the future, the ultimate weapon against crime will be the judge, jury, and executioner, and it will not be human. But here, the future has already arrived 25 years too soon. Impossible! Robotic. It's okay, honey, it's a police officer. Officer. <laughs> Tactical. <laughs> Operation. Research. Rotor. Its prime directive. To judge. And to execute. Anything that stands in its way. The rotor walked through a buckload of nuns to get to a jaywalker. The perfect police officer. It won't stop. prototype of what is to come. But pray, it never comes to this. He's programming himself. An unstoppable force. Without flesh and blood. Rotor. The ultimate weapon of human destruction. next videotape you watch could control your mind. It could possess your body. It could take your life. Remote control. Why did they take home videos to destroy mankind? The copyright proprietor has licensed the picture and soundtrack contained in this video cassette for private home use only. It is an infringement of Australian copyright laws to copy, reproduce, show in public, including hotels and motels, in whole point, violate the subject to criminal and or civil prosecution. Hey, I build her and she's all mine. That's my swap meat special. I build it on my own. Hey, I rode it over from Texas right through downtown Santa. Takes a boa constrictor. He just did a sizzling baking commercial. So I built him a condominium. You get a 
what was it, $100 a day, if anything under eight feet, and 250 a day, anything over eight feet. And so when I did the commercial, I stretched him out, and he was eight foot nine inches. So he made 250 a day. Each people. In fact, people I got him from sent him to a an underground dog training school in Tijuana. Okay, what year are they? 1926. And zap, the bar's empty. Everybody runs out, and take a look. <laughs> Just us and the bartender left. Sometimes we, not even the bartender. He, we stopped at one little food. place there, and it was cold coming up the coast, and had yeah. a brandy and. Bar's closed. closed. And she said, the bar's closed. She said, I'll run the bar. I'll open it. <laughs> but anyway, we got a shot of brandy and coffee, and uh, we tried to pay her for it. And she said, not to ride these old outfits. You can uh, get a lot of miles out of them. But you take these young kids, get on them, they wouldn't get out of town with them. took me to uh, uh, one of the clubs out here, one of the ranches up in San Bernardino, and uh, scared me to death. I'd never seen so many wild people, and but they were having fun. I remember seeing guys doing wheel stands around corners, riding jockey shifts, and pipes stuck, you know, six feet in the air, and ape hangers where people had to stretch to reach them. You know, they outlaw them now, but the old Flanders bars that were, you know, 20 inches or, or more, 26 inches. I guess a lot of styles, from what I've heard, have taken off from from my paintings. Say I'd maybe exaggerate a front end uh, a little bit, or a, or a rake on a on a frame, and. Uh, I did it accidentally, not meaning to, because I had no idea that uh, long front ends were going to be a style. Uh, some of the old people that I idolized when I was writing for a while in a, uh, in a club. Tiny's the one in the center. He's the one that started me with the uh, uh, with Ed Roth. He's the one I dedicated the book to. Going off. And everybody was trying to razzle-dazzle each other and, and uh, be a little bit cooler than everybody else. And the girls would find you. You wouldn't have to go looking for them. Long legs, short legs, spinners, we call them. Uh, look like they're having a good time. Or make them erotic and, and sexy. She dumped me. So I decided I'd do a centerfold, put my bike in a bike show, and uh, have her cleaning my bike, and I'd be up and talking to the uh, to the. Deal too good. I'm not going to be happy when I get out the end of the ride because she's going to be sore and worn out. <laughs> she's been a big help. Boy, she's out in the garage wrenching away. I tell her to hold this, and I'll do this, and you tighten it up, and then I'll, you know, she's the, about the best help I have for my bike, and I need it too. You cops are looking shabbier every day. Welcome to the first Easy Riders Grand National Rodeo, featuring the real modern-day cowboys of the American highway, riding American-built machines,
Humanity's history tells us such time has produced heroes and heroines dedicated to turning back the darkness. And so it was in the 22nd century, the age of the machine. The late 1960s were years of unprecedented emergence for America's youth. A time of freedom and awareness, a summer of love and a call to action. The birth of group consciousness and the sharing of a vision. By 1969, the burgeoning youth movement was at its zenith. Yet sociologists agree that it took but one man, in fact, one image, to bring the free-spirited psychedelic era to its knees. During March each year, weather permitting, a dedicated band of speed enthusiasts load cars, bikes and equipment to South Australia's Lake Gairdner. This remote salt lake is the largest dry lake raced on in the world, being approximately 150 kilometres long and 60 kilometres wide. Leaving the bitumen behind, access is through saltbush country over dusty gravel roads. A wide variety of cars and bikes from all over the country are assembled for this event. One thing that they all have in common is that they're built for speed. Please lock your car. Do not leave articles on the seat. 
Do not leave parking ticket in your car. Lock your car. Do not leave articles on the seat. Do not leave parking ticket in your car. Hey, Hadley, how'd you get mixed up with Pace, anyway? <laughs> well, I tell you, Stanley, I used to steal trucks. One day this dude comes in, he says he's measuring Pace for some insurance company, and he's here to investigate a truck I bought. Well, he walks around the truck, opens his briefcase, and right away I see these pictures of my truck all wrecked up and stuff. Then he said, Mr. Jackson, do you realize you can go to jail for stealing like you can for lying? Right then, I knew he had me. But he made me an offer. And here I is, me, Investigator Jackson, stealing car. I still haven't been caught. Atley, when you came to work for me, you became a pro. The amateurs are in jail. Professionals never get caught. Well, what about Bush Doctor? He was a pro. Over 400 cars, and they nailed him. Well, he got sloppy. You don't get sloppy in this business. Jill just became a statistic. One of the 32% of the cars stolen, never to be recovered again. Holy Christ, I got me V-Lust in 20 minutes. Hey, you want me to come with you? No, they said to come alone, and for $400,000, I'm going alone. See you guys later. Get this place cleaned up. a new enemy and justice a new name simon garden he was witness to a homicide i saw a man strangle a human being well an accountant now he's on a